Okay, another reason that you use a sub-report is to simply combine to combine uh, two different reports. If you notice, I have a report here that has a chart, and then it's showing my expenses, um, and basically we have a subtotal for each expense type. All right, so we're showing all the details, and then if I go to the last page, then it has the grand total as well. So that's my first report. Then I want to show you uh, another report. I'm going to pick on File, and then I have this one that's called the Expenses Cross Tab. Now this is showing a summary by expense type by month. Uh, there's other videos to show you how to make a cross tab here in uh, Crystal. But let's say I wanted to get this cross tab uh, into the other report. Well, the way you can combine uh, any two reports is with something that's called a sub-report. So let's give this a shot. I'm going to close out of the, uh, the expenses cross tab report. Now let's go back to the main expenses report. And I want to pick on design view. Now I would like that cross tab to be at the bottom. So therefore I'm going to put, I'm going to put the cross tab into the report footer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ex uh, expand the report footer with the um, section break. And then I'm going to come up here and say insert sub report. Now usually I have that second report already existing. So I'm going to say choose an existing report, pick on browse. And let's go find the one that we just uh, were looking at. It was called Expenses Cross Tab. And there it is. Uh, so I want to pick on that. Now, in the other type of uh, sub report, you need to link your fields. You need to have a common field. In this sub report, when you're just trying to combine two different reports together, you do not have to specify a, um, a linking field. So we're going to click on OK here. Now notice how your mouse takes on the shape of the sub-report. I'm going to move that into the report footer section of the main report. And notice how the expenses cross tab is embedded into the main report. That's why it's called a sub-report. So now let's run uh, the report. I'm going to pick on preview. So let's go back to the first page. The first page now has the chart like it used to. It's, it still has the, the details and the, the subtotal for each section. Then if I go to the last page, notice that on page 11, it has the grand total over here, but then it also has the cross tab. Uh, I was able to combine both of those reports together with a sub-report. So that's another variation of a sub-report.